Hey, Grade 11s, thought I would set up a quick little video for you guys just to go through the analytical geometry worksheets that you've been given over the last few days. Um, the page that's on your screen at the moment is the notes that were sent to you about a week ago. Um, and it starts off by talking about the Grade 10 uh, analytical geometry formulas that you would have learned about last year. Okay, so I'm going to highlight as we go and just talk through them. There's the distance formula over there. Okay, the distance between points A and B, and there's the formula there. Okay, you should be familiar with it with not by now, having done it last year and probably already this year. Um, and it's a formula that you should be able to do with your eyes closed, just about. The midpoint of a line segment AB is given by that formula over there. Also very important. Remember, you can either work out the midpoint of a line, or if you are given the midpoint, you can use that same formula to work out what one of the end points must have been. Okay, the gradient of a line, in this case, line AB is given by that formula over there. Okay, change in Y over change in X. There will sadly be some of you who get it wrong and flip it around. Okay, it has to be the change in Y over the change in X. Okay, the second part of these notes spoke about the equation of straight lines. Okay, straight lines, you remember the standard form of a straight line is Y is equal to MX plus C. There it is in this uh, line over there. The M talks about the gradient and the C talks about the Y-intercept. Okay, if we want to find the Y-intercept, maybe it's not given to us, you could, if you know your M, your gradient, sub in a point into this formula there. There is a new formula here that I'm highlighting now, let's highlight it in green, that says Y minus YP equals M X minus XP. So this formula will be the same as this one when we sub in a value to find the C, okay? So very important, you can use this green one, you can stick to the yellow one if you want. I think a lot of the answers use this one here in green, okay? So be on your toes, you can use both options, okay? And uh, what else does it say? Number B here, or letter B, it is often necessary to calculate the gradient first if two points are given or if the required line is given as perpendicular or parallel to another. Okay, just a reminder here, if a line is parallel to another line, it would mean that their gradients are the same. They would have the same gradients. If lines are perpendicular to each other, it would mean that the one gradient multiplied by the other gradient would have to equal negative one. Okay, so if you are told, let's say, that the one gradient is two, it would mean that the other gradient would be negative a half, okay? Another example, if the one gradient was a third, it would mean that the other gradient would have to be negative three, okay? Always multiply the two together to give negative one if you are told that they are perpendicular, okay? If you do not know they are perpendicular, but when multiplying the two gradients together, it gives you negative one, it would mean that the two lines are indeed perpendicular, okay? This is new, the inclination of lines. The inclination of a line through A and B is defined as the angle theta, where tan theta is equal to the gradient of the line AB. Very important. In this diagram, you'll see that theta is the angle that goes from the x-axis and meets the line. Okay. Simply, all you need to do to work out that theta is say tan theta is equal to the gradient of that line. That line looks like it could be a gradient of one. So you'd say tan theta equals one, shift tan one equals, and then theta would be 45 in this case, okay? Please be careful. If the line is going in a negative direction, it would mean the gradient is negative. So when you push shift tan, you don't push the negative sign, remember, you'll get a reference angle, which you then may need to go 180 minus the reference angle to find the angle of inclination. Okay, so tread carefully when you go, when you go through angles of inclination, um, it is new to grade 11. Okay, in my next video, I'm gonna go through this exercise, which you should have done by now, and hopefully, I know that you've been given the memos, but I'm gonna talk through the memo from A1 to 16 in probably two or three videos. Okay, I will not have my face on the screen for the next video, but I hope they do assist you. Okay, we'll chat in the next video.